Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello. Good afternoon. Oi. Oi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Give me a moment. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, yeah. There was one microphone with echo, but now we are okay. All right. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, I was with, with this. Okay, well, guys, good afternoon and welcome to one more class, okay? Very good. Now, do you remember yesterday we were talking about um, a little bit about food? All right, because today we're going to begin to talk about how many and how much. Okay, so let me see. We're going to we're going to begin with a little activity, but this activity is going to be with definition. Oh, my camera! Sorry, my my camera my camera was was off. No, yes. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And today we're going to begin our class with a little activity. Definitions. We're gonna be talking about definitions. I will show you the the screen. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Now, um, what we're gonna what we're gonna do today is we are going to um well we have some definitions here. I want you to pay attention to the definitions. If you have a question, ask mm -hmm. me. Okay. You can ask me if you have a question, teacher. How? What's the meaning of? If you see a word mm -hmm. uh, or a or something mm -hmm. that you don't understand. Okay. Very good. Now, um, let me see. Kevin, can you help me please read uh, the first uh, definition? Definition what? Uh, definition. Teacher, uh, I, I don't understand the, um, the question. Okay, read this, please. Ah, okay, then mm -hmm. the, for okay. letter. Uh -huh. ah, okay, uh -huh. okay. Um, it is often add to ships and dressings. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. It is often add to chips and dressings. What is the answer? Everybody, what is the answer? A, B, or D? Oh, there is a, there is a, here, this is mermelade, no marmelade, right? It's marmalade. So which is the, which is the answer? The meaning, of, the meaning of add is agregar, all right, everybody? So it is often add to chips and dressings. Okay, so you say vinegar, marmalade, eggplant, or coffee. What is it? It is often add to chips. Dressings are like aderezos. That is the meaning. Uh-huh. So it is often add to chips and dressings. What do you think? What do you think we agregar? Vinegar, marmalade, eggplant, or coffee? What do you think? I, I think vinegar. Ah, Jocelyn, you think it's vinegar. Jocelyn, what is the meaning of vinegar in Spanish? Vinagre. Excellent. Good. Uh -huh. Vinagre, that is the meaning. So which is okay. the answer, guys? What do you think? A, B, C, or D? The letter A. A. The letter A. A, vinegar. Let me see. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Kevin, for helping me with the with the with the definition. Uh, Rosa Ordonez, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, good afternoon. I it can be ground or instant. Instant. Maybe you don't know the meaning of ground. What is the meaning of ground? Do you have any idea? No, no idea. No. What is the okay. meaning? Ah, the meaning of ground is molido. So it can be ground or instant. What do you think? Tea, beer, coffee, or marmalade? Coffee. 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 Yes, coffee. coffee. I have a question. Well, I have coffee in this moment. <laughs> and also Paola, Aliana Paola has coffee. No, but my question is, what's your favorite coffee? 
my favorite coffee is uh, black coffee. Black coffee, all right, very good. But do you have a specific um, brand? Do you have a specific brand? The meaning of brand is marca. Do you have a specific brand or of coffee? No, I don't like all types of mark. Brand. 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 Uh -huh. Marca in English is brand. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a specific brand, right? Okay. What about you, uh, Rosa? Do you have a do you have a favorite brand of coffee? I I don't have, but I love caramel macchiato. Ah, okay, very good. In my personal case, I like musum. <laughs> yeah, musum is very delicious. I don't have any problem. Yeah, I don't have any problem with, how can I say with, with brands or something like that. I don't have any problem. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Um, Now, the next one is Aliana, okay? Help me with the, with the next. Oh, but give me a second, give me a second. I will select the answer. Okay. Guys, my recommendation as a teacher is take notes from the new vocabulary. Take notes. Okay, for example, in number one, you have, maybe you don't know the, the word add is agregar. Ah, the teacher said add, agregar, all right? Now in number two, ground. Ah, the teacher said molido, ground. So cafe molido is ground coffee. Ah, okay, very good. You have to be curious, take notes, take notes, okay? Take notes from the new vocabulary, excellent. Okay, Aliana, help me with this one, please. It's a sauce. Sauce. How do you say? Sauce. What? Sauce. Sauce made from the use of cook meat mixer with flour. Okay, very good. I'm gonna help you with the, with the pronunciation of this one. Uh, okay, three words, juices, Cooker. Oh, okay. Repeat after me. Juices. Juices. Okay. Listen to the next one. Cooked. Cooked. Excellent. 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 And the next one is mixed. Mixed. Perfect. Excellent, Aliana. All right. So, guys, what is the answer? Pickle. If you don't know the word. Take notes in first place and in second place, ask me. So you have four options. Pickle, marmalade, mayonnaise, and gravy. Mayonnaise. Oh, Rafael, you, th you say it's mayonnaise. All right, what do you think? What about the others? What do you think? Teacher, I don't know what is the A and D. Ah, okay, all right. Ajá. Letter A is pepinillo. And letter D is, I don't know if you have gone to Pollo Campero and you ask for uh, mashed potatoes in Spanish is puré de papa. You ask for the mashed potato, uh, the thing that is on top and the color is brown. That is gravy. Ajá. It is a special, uh, a special, um, how can I say, a special sauce. So which do you think is the answer? Mm -hmm. Number D. Number D or letter D? Sorry, teacher. Eh, gravy. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronunciaba, teacher? Sorry. Eh, letter D, all do they say? How do you pronounce it? All right, gravy. Uh, I think it's gravy. You think it's gravy. All right, what about the others? What do you think? What do you think the answer is? Pickle, marmalade, mayonnaise, or gravy? I have no idea. Kevin, you don't know. All right. What about another person? What do you think? Uh huh. Yes. Right. Try, try to understand. Maybe you don't. Okay. I'm going to show you a picture of gravy. All right. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I will show you. Gravy sauce, all right? Pay attention to gravy sauce, you will see. Look, uh, is this, one? this is the gravy sauce, all right? And the pickles, the pickles are these. Pay attention to the pickles. Can you see the pickles? Yeah, these are pickles. 
Okay, these are pickles. Okay, and let me see, marmalade. Pay attention, mermelade in English. Mermelade, all right? This is the mermelade, okay? And the mayonnaise, you know, right? Mayo, I will show you mayo. Mayonnaise. Right, this is the mayonnaise. Mayo, the, the short form is mayo, okay? Very good. Now, uh-huh, so which do you think it is? Ah, and sauce. Sauce in English is salsa. Okay, very good. Sauce. Sauce, sauce, sauce. So, letter D. Let's see. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Yes, yes, letter D. Miedo, sin miedo, que right. yo lo quiero. No tengan miedo, que miren, yo los quiero acostumbrar a que lean y entiendan en inglés. No solo cositas fáciles como I love my mom. Now, that is very easy. I like Bananas, that is very easy. Quiero que entiendan más allá de. Okay, very good. Okay, now, um, Naomi, help me with this one, please. It is used for um, straining solids from liquids um, for uh, how do you pronounce separate? Ah, all right, for separating. Separating coarser from finer. Hmm. Finer particles. Particles or uh -huh. for reducing. Hmm. Soft solids? Solids to a To pulp. a pulp. To a pulp. A pulp. To oh, a pulp. my teacher, I don't understand this. Okay, very good. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, this is an object. I'm going to give you, le voy a dar una idea, right? I'm going to give you some idea. This is an object that is in your kitchen, okay? Now, when you prepare, for example, a, um, pasta, you have this object, you put the pasta in this object, and you begin removing water. Do you have any idea? It is, is, has. Okay. You can ask me. Uh -huh. uh, tell me in Spanish and I can tell you in English. Uh, okay. He has um, um, colador. Colador. I, I have no idea. How do you say in English uh, colador? Please. Colador is sieve. Oh, yes, okay. sí. Excellent, okay. Kevin. Kevin me, me agarró la idea, pero él no sabía la palabra en inglés. But in English is sieve. Ok, colar in English, everybody, is strain. This is colar, all right? Colar, strain. Ok, this is the verb, strain. Um, ok, saucepan is cacerola. Frying pan is freidora. And kettle is tetera. Okay? Okay? Yeah, so you're learning some vocabulary. But colar in English is a strain. Okay? Colar in English is a strain. Okay? Very good. Yes. Very good. Mm. Okay. Um, give me a moment. Okay, Fisher. so, uh, yes, see. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kevin? Uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, uh, I understand the, the, um, the words in, in the equation. Uh, um, uh, how do you mean pulp? pulp? Ah, pulp, uh, pulp. Oh, uh, yeah. A pulp, pulp is not pulp, okay? <laughs> pulp uh -huh. is pulpa. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. yes. That's right. yes. For example, Kevin, when your mother is preparing atol de lote, we oh. say, you, you can see the in Spanish we say el chingaste. <laughs> yeah, como yeah. Grumito, ¿no? uh -huh. oh, okay, in English okay. is the pulp. All right. 
Ah, yeah. okay. Or for example, hay, un, hay jugo que tiene como cositas así. A mí ese jugo no me gusta. El con pulpa, I don't like it. Ajá, that it has, I don't know, like, ah, it is kind oh, of. Por ejemplo, de, 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 de la granja. <laughs> ajá, ajá, yes. It's, it's like, it's like um, really, really difficult, okay? Now, look at this one. Pay attention to this one. Uh, let me see. I will need a volunteer. Mm, Rosa, help me. Daniela, can you help me, Daniela Cañas, please? Help me, Daniela. It is made from orange and put on toots. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Do you know the meaning of toast? Tostada. Tostada. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, it is made from oranges, oranges or another fruit. Okay, because you can have a strawberry, mango. What is it? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Mermelade, and there is a song, Lady Mermelade. Kichi, kichi, ya, ya, ta, ta. All right, very good. Mermelade, excellent, very good. Mermelade. Now, uh, let's see, the next one. The next one is, well, we're gonna, we're gonna finish there. All right, with some words. Now, um, I have a question. Do you like mermelade? Yes, yes, I, I like it. Ah, you like it, David? Which is your favorite? Which one do you like? Do you like a strawberry, oranges, a mango, guayaba, guava? Which is your favorite? Mermelade, tamarind. Uh, well, for, for me, it's better uh, strawberry. A strawberry, all right? Yeah, and and for you, uh, let me see, uh, Jorge. Which is your favorite uh, mermelade? Yeah. And sorry, teacher, we like marmalade. You don't like marmalade? No, I dislike. Ah, you dislike marmalade. Uh, but do you like honey? Sure. Yeah, for example, on, on pancakes, do you like honey? And uh, not only. Ah, only the, the pancakes. Yeah, no, no, no toppings. Okay, very good, nice. Well, everybody, uh, today we're going to try to remember... Um, los que estuvieron en el básico 1 se acuerdan que uno de los temas para terminar módulo era eh, los adverbios de frecuencia, adverbs of frequency, ¿ok? Do you remember, do you remember everybody the adverbs of frequency? Do you remember? Yes or no? Usually, often, e sometimes. Excellent. Very good, Daniela. Very good. So those are the adverbs of frequency. The adverbs of frequency are very, very easy. They are not, they are not uh, difficult. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm going to show you a little exercise. I want you to, you to help me. Remember, adverbs of frequency, frequent. I mean, um, they, they, they give you the idea of how frequent something is. For example, pay attention to these pictures. No vean las hamburguesas que le va a dar hambre. All right, don't look at the hamburgers, but look at here. So which do you think? Fíjense cuántos chequecitos hay. Eso, eso significa la frecuencia. So which do you think the adverb of frequency is? Never, always, sometimes, or often? Pay attention. Always. 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 Always? Are you sure? Yay! Excellent. All right, very good. Let's continue with the next. We're gonna vamos a hacer cinco because after that we're gonna watch the video. What about this one? John plays tennis. Look, look how many how many checks. Usually. 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 I have a yeah, question. Pay, atten pay attention to the we have always. After or before always, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have always. Abajo de always, ¿qué va? Always. You, usually. 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 And under usually. usually. Often. 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 Uh -huh. often. And, and um, below often. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, excellent, then. excellent. So, but in this case, pay attention. We only have four options. Never, always, usually, and sometimes. 
So which do you think the answer is? Usually, Usually you said, right? Usually. Yes, very good, excellent. Okay, so those are the adverbs of frequency. We're gonna refresh our minds in this moment. We're gonna watch this video, pay attention to this video, okay? Y después vamos a hacer ese ejercicio que les enseñé eh, in mini groups, okay? But pay attention to this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, share my screen. All right, and let's see. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this class, you are going to learn about how often. So, if you're ready, let's get into the video. You use how often in questions when you want to ask about the frequency of an activity. Let me give you some examples. How often do you go to the park? I go to the park three days a week. So the frequency of this action, going to the park, happens three times a week. Another example. How often do you visit your grandma? I visit her every Saturday. You see, this action, visit my grandma, happens every Saturday. So this is how you use the question, how often? Now, if you see in the answers of these two questions, we have some important phrases. Number one, three times a week. Every Saturday. These kind of expressions are the ones that you use to answer the how often question. So, you use adverbs of frequency and time expressions to answer how often questions. Let's learn some of the adverbs of frequency and time expressions. Let me give you a list of adverbs of frequency. First, we have always. Usually. Sorry, guys. There is a little mistake here. Pay attention. It is not never. It is never. All right. You don't need letter letter R. Okay. Now pay attention. Ella está hablando de dos cosas. Va a hablar de dos cosas. Y eso quiero que lo, lo diferencien bien. I want you to make the difference well. She is going to talk about adverbs of frequency and time or time expression or frequency expressions. Pay attention to that difference, okay? Because adverbs of frequency is one thing and frequency expressions or time expressions is another thing. How do you say una vez in English? Una vez, how do you say that? One time. One, 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 one more one. time. Okay, one. once. That is, the, that is the correct expression, once, all one. right? Once, this is the correct expression, once. But you can say one time and there is no problem. One time, there is no problem. But the most common thing is to say once. Now, once is, pay attention to my question. Once is a time expression or a frequency expression? An adverb of frequency, sorry. Time expression? Time expression, very good. I want you to pay attention to the difference. Ahorita ella va a hablar, she's going to talk about adverse of frequency. And after that, she's going to talk about frequency expressions or time expressions. I want you to have that difference clear, okay? All right, let's continue. Continue with teacher Eunice, all right? Let's see. Oh, pay attention to this. Yeah, I go to the park three days a week. Time expression? or adverb of frequency? Time. Time, time expression. expression. Time expression, very good. Every Saturday, time expression or adverb of frequency? Adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, every, good. time expression. Yeah, remember, adverbs of, adverbs of frequency. Uh, give me a moment, Kevin. Adverbs of frequency, do you remember Basico Uno? Always, never, usually, or rarely, sometimes. Yeah, those are adverbs of frequency. But later, I'm going to explain to you the position and how to use it, okay? Aha, uh -huh, Kevin, tell me. 
Um, una de las frases más comunes, perdón que no lo pueda decir en inglés, pero tal vez la idea la capto mejor en español. Este, eh, no se preocupen, uh, si me supervisan la clase y ven Spanish, van a regañar, pero don't worry. Ah, ok. Eh, pero eh, allá me recuerdo de que yo tenía un amigo que él hablaba mucho inglés, él ocupaba algo que es almost never, como decir casi nunca. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, you can say that. Almost always and almost never. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. es, es, yeah. correct, yeah. es, es correcta esa expresión. Ah, sure, okay. yes, yes, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, for example, uh -huh. Kevin, you say, I almost, le voy a dar un ejemplo mío. I almost never eat papaya. I almost never, almost never, because maybe once or twice in my life, yes, I I eat papaya, but I almost never eat papaya. And Me I too. never, I never, but... I never uh, drink tequila. No, never, no, I never drink tequila, no. <laughs> Mm, no, 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 I no, no. <laughs> Ah, why not? I oh, oh, that is so terrible. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you. Alicia. Okay, Kevin, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay, let, let's let's watch this. Time expressions to answer how often questions. Let's learn some of the adverbs of frequency and time expressions. Let me give you a list of adverbs of frequency. First, we have always, usually, often, or often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Now you are going to see over here some percentages. So you use always to talk about something that the frequency is 100%. So for example, I always go to church on Sundays. You don't miss a Sunday. So every single Sunday, you go to church. Then usually could be a 90%. Often it's more of a 70%. So it's more like you do it more than you don't, okay? Then we have sometimes, so this is like a 50-50, right? Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. We have hardly ever. So this would be like a 10%, all right? It's pretty rare when you do it. And obviously we have never. So it's something that you don't do. Now let's talk about time expressions or expressions of frequency. You are going to see over here a chart. The first one is with every, okay? This is the main word. And then the secondary words are up to you. So you can say every day, every week, every month, every year, or even you can add a day to that. Every Sunday, every Monday, or a part of the day every night, every morning. Now, you also have over here once, twice, three times, and four times. Now, the meaning of once is that you do it one time up, and then you add the extra word. For example, once a week. This means only one day of the week. Now, twice, twice means two times, okay? So if you say, twice a day I drink water, you do this action two times a day. Then you have three times a month or four times a year. So you have these other time expressions for you to answer the question, how often? So now you know some expressions that can help you to answer the how often question. Remember, you have adverbs of frequency, that they have a percentage, right? They are not so specific. And then you have time expressions. Three times a day, 
or twice a month, these can be considered a little bit more specific. So, now that you know this information, let's practice, okay? All right, to practice, I am going to ask you some how often questions. The only thing that you have to do is answer according to what you do. So, question number one. How often do you go out with your family? Do you go out every weekend? Do you go out once or twice a week? How often do you go out? Alright, are you ready for question number two? How often do you go to the movies? Do you know that? To watch a movie with popcorn or nachos? How often do you go to the movies? Do you go once a month? Do you go twice a year? How often do you go to the movies? Now question number three. How often do you work out? Like run or do jumping jacks? How often do you work out? I never work out. Is that your answer? No, come on, come on. I sometimes work out. Or you always work out in your in the morning. Hmm? So these are some examples of how often questions. And now you know how to answer them using adverbs of frequency or time expressions. Okay, very good. Now, do you have any question with how often do you? Do you know the meaning of that question? How often do you? Okay, just give me a second. I will show you. Can you see the, the whiteboard? Yeah, can you see the whiteboard? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ah, nice, nice. Okay, for example, listen to my question. How of, listen to my question. Look at my question. How often do you drink coffee? Okay, we can answer this question with adverbs of frequency or with frequency expressions. Okay, let me see. Do you remember the adverbs of, fre of frequency? Tell me, I'm gonna make a list. Always, what else? Tell me usually. another adverb. Usually, uh-huh, what else? Often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Huh? Yeah. Ever. Sure. Well, she uh, only mentioned she only mentioned like five or six, right? But I'm gonna give you more. Okay, you can say always uh, or as um did you listen to Kevin? Almost always, almost never. Uh, usually you can say normally, this is another other frequency. You can say often, sometimes, you can have rarely. Okay, rarely or seldom, which is rara vez or raramente, right? And then we can have never. Now, these are the address of frequency. Now, can you tell me some frequency expressions? Tell me some, let me see if you remember. Frequency expressions. La voy a poner de otro color. Or yeah, there's going to be another color. Every. Sorry? Every. Early. No. Every, oh, every? Every, ah, every, aha, uh -huh. every, okay, every what? Give me combinations. How do you say todos los días? Every, every day. Every day. Every day. How do you say eh, cada semana? Every, every week. week. Every week. Every week. How do you say cada mes? Every, every month. month. Every, okay, listen to this. Every month. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Si usted dice así, mire cómo lo escribí allá. If you say must, eso es papalota. Cada papalota. Every must. No. Every month. No, no, no. N. Month. Right? Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say cada año? Every year. Every year. Every year. Every year. All right. And then you can say other expressions like 
Ah, teacher, mire, cada Navidad, every Christmas, cada, cada, cada vez que celebro mi cumpleaños, eh, every time I celebrate my birthday or every birthday I celebrate, okay? You can say also those expressions. Now, how do you say una vez in English? Once. 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 All right. How do you say dos veces? Twice. 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 Not twice. All right. Twice. Yes. Okay. Very good. How do you say tres veces? Three, Three times. times. Three times. All right. Very good. Three times. How do you say cuatro veces? Four, four times. Four times. Four times. And we continue, right? Five times, six times, etc. And then have other expressions. For example, ah, also here in every, you can say also every weekend, every weekend, every Saturday, every Sunday, or any day of the week. You can say every morning, all right? Every afternoon, every night. You can, I mean, the combinations of time expressions are a lot, okay? Okay, now... Using these time expressions, answer the question. How often do you drink coffee? We can use only adverbs of frequency or we can use a frequency expression. Now, I need a volunteer. How often do you drink coffee? I drink coffee every day. Excellent, Daniela. Allá les robó Daniela every day, así que ya no lo pueden usar. <laughs> I drink coffee every um, day. Ajá, Roberto. Uh, no, uh, every moment. Yeah, no. Every, every moment, a cada momento. Yeah, no. Mm, every moment. Mm, but every moment, Roberto, is, eh, I don't know. You, you have to be more specific. How many times a day do you drink coffee? Yeah. Yeah. ser often, a menudo? Oh, okay. Uh, I drink uh, coffee every day. I drink coffee often. I no, no. No, don't worry, don't worry, Roberto, don't worry. Okay. Uh, vaya, vaya. Sí, sígame ahorita. Uh, okay. How many times, cuántas veces, how many times you drink coffee in a day, in one day? How many, um, how many times? <laughs> I drink coffee um, every... Once every. a day, twice a day, four times a day, five times a ah, day. Ah, okay. Is six days? <laughs> ah, seis, seis veces. No, yeah, six times. Six ah, times. okay, okay, okay. So, vaya, vamos a ordenar, vamos a ordenar la oración. So. Okay. Tell me. Okay. I drink, ah. uh -huh. uh, I drink coffee the six times. No, yeah. Six times a day. A day, six times a day. Excellent. So I drink coffee six times a six day. Times a day. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Pero y si quiero usar lo que dijo Daniela, often. ¿Cómo es el orden, everybody? What is the order? I drink coffee the often in the day. Coffee often. Okay, like this. I drink. Is that mm -hmm. correct, everybody? Is that yeah. order correct? What do you think? I often drink coffee. Excellent, Rosa Elena. <laughs> Remember, everybody, when you have adverbs of frequency, they go before the verb. So you say, I often drink coffee. Okay, adverbs of frequency. Por si no se acuerdan esto del nivel pasado, se lo voy a recordar. Rosa si se acordó. She remembered. <laughs> so you say, adverbs, okay, adverbs, adverbs, adverbs of frequency. Let's see, adverbs of frequency go before the verb, okay? This is something very important you need to remember. So it's not possible to say, often I drink coffee. I drink coffee often, no. Often is before, antes, the verb. So you say, I often drink, 
¿ok? ¿Alguien más que me quiera dar un ejemplo? Un ejemplo, how often do you drink coffee? Jocelyn. I drink coffee every morning. Excellent, very good. I drink coffee every morning. Now, if you pay attention, everybody, the position, the position of the time expressions, ¿a dónde van las time expressions? At the beginning or at the end? The at, end. The end. at the end. At the end. Very good. You see, every morning, okay? Every morning. Every morning. You can say, every morning, teacher. Oh, sorry. There is a little mistake here. You can say, every morning, teacher, I drink coffee. That is correct. Or, I drink coffee every morning. No problem. Pero usualmente, they usually go at the end. Uh, okay, I will ask you another question. How often do you eat pupusas? Mm -hmm. How I, often? I eat pupusa ah. every Friday. Castaneda Linares, Cecia, I drink coffee every morning. Yes, Cecia. Yes, eh, Diana. Every Friday, mm. only Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> my, only my Friday. I eat pupusas maybe once or twice a month. Yeah. Um, in this moment, in this moment, because my mother is in the United States of America in this moment. Okay. But when my mother is in El Salvador, I eat pupusas every Saturday. I know, that is a terrible thing. <laughs> okay. I need it pupusa every Weekend. Every weekend. Uh, you <laughs> like pupusas. Okay, very good. Like yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Guys, do you have a question with this? Alguna pregunta? Do you have a question with this? Is easy mm. or is cool? Mm, teacher, uh -huh. I, I participation for... Ah, class. tell me, how often do you eat pupusas, Kevin? Um, the, um, um, say, um, nah, how do you say se podría decir? Ah, can I say, teacher, can I say? Que, can ah, I? ok. Que, que Aquí se lo escribo. Can I, can I say? Esta es, esta es una frase útil, apréndansela, que es, es útil. Can I say? Uh -huh. can, can I say, um, um, I eat pupusas only weekend? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, you can say that. Only on weekends. Oh, uh, on weekends. Oh, okay. Yeah, excellent, Kevin. I eat pupusas, teacher, only on weekends. Or you can say, Kevin, teacher, I eat pupusas weekends only. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, the two Thank expressions you. are correct. Okay, very good, excellent. Alguien más que tenga alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Aliana, Rosa, Naomi, Daniela, Jorge, Jennifer, Elizabeth, Stephanie, Sonia, Yancy, Carlos, Vladimir, Nancy, Arely, Brenda, <laughs> Catherine, Rocío. Do you have a question? Ah, I have two Yancy's. Yancy, Yamilet, and I have um, uh, Sonia, Yancy. Okay, very good. Do you have a question, ladies, gentlemen? No? Oh, no, no questions. Por el momento, no questions. All right. So, eh, vamos a seguir el ejercicio que les enseñé. All right. We're going to continue with the exercise, but now in mini groups. Okay. So, give me a moment. I will. Okay. Very good. I will share this. Let's see. I will send it. Uh, I will send the link. And you will practice with your classmates. Okay, you will practice with your classmates. Just give me a second. I will copy and paste, All right? I will copy and paste. Okay, so uh, can you please open the link and tell me if you can open the link? Can you open the link? Yes? Yes. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to make some groups right now so we can, so we can work. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lope, Jocelyn, Jorge, Yancy, Polio, and Jennifer Reyes. You are in room number six. Nancy, Cecia, Yesenia, and Roberto Carlos. You're going to be in room number five. 
Eh, Silvia, Daisy, Rocío, Natalie, you're going to be in room number four. Por si lo saca Zoom y regresan, me dicen dónde estaban, all right? David, Rafael, Bessie, Mayensi, Carlos, Vladimir, Brenda, Beatriz, en Caterina, Alejandra, in room number three. Arely Esmeralda, Esmeralda Guadalupe, Sonia Yancy, Rosa Elena, and Diana Rivas. You're going to be in room number two. And in room number one, I will have, no, I will change Naomi to this group, I think. Uh, okay. So in room number one, I will have Daniela Beatriz, Cecia Esmeralda, Stephanie Marisol, Kevin Alexis, and Aliana Paola, all right? You're going to be in room number one. Okay, let's go. I'm going to give you some, some minutes so you can finish. This is something very easy.
Excellent. Easy or difficult? Mm, I easy. I, think, <laughs> I think I I think I think because of the checks. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, the checks. With the checks, you were like, oh my god, it's never, it's usually sometimes. All right. My question is, did you finish or no? Yes. yes. Yes, we excellent, did. Excellent, yes. excellent, excellent. All right. I'm going to give you another exercise. Don't worry, all right? Don't worry about this because I will give you as many exercises as possible. Just give me a moment. I, I will check the second. Okay. Now, pay attention. Pay attention to this one. This is, this is going to be very nice because you have to check the position. Okay. Oh, give me a moment, please. I don't know, these, these pages are having a, a little problem. Mm. Okay, now pay attention to this one. Pay attention to the chart and we're gonna try to, to guess this. Okay, uh, I will send the, the, the link to the chat, okay? Let's see. Tell me please if you can open the link. All the groups, all the groups have one person who can share. All the groups have one person who can share. I don't know if you understand. You understand? Yes, no. in my group, yes. I, oh my God. <laughs> all right. All the groups, all the groups have one person who can share the screen. Yes. In my group, yes. Jocelyn, in yes. In my group, yes. In your group, yes, Rosa Elena, all right. What about the other groups? Do you have one person compartiendo, sharing the, the screen? Yeah. Yes, we heard. Yes. yes ah, yes. all right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes. Very good. Uh, yeah, very good. Okay. So I'm going to give you for this exercise. I'm going to give you just five minutes because this is something easy. Sí. Un 70% y sometimes, si no me recuerdo, era un 50%. Yo opino que es open porque... Sorry, Spanish. 
In English. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Vamos. I, 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 I understand uh, sometimes is um, percentage. Uh, how do you say teacher menor? Uh, less, Some, less than. Less, uh, less than uh, 50, uh, perdón, uh, five, fighting, fighting uh, portions. Uh, I understand. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I I think um, the question uh, play uh, he plays tennis on Tuesday for me is um, sometimes okay. uh, tennis uh, tennis is little little usually. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you think? What do you think, Stephanie? I think two uh, sometimes. Okay. And what about you, Daniela? What do you think? Mm. On Tuesdays, play tennis, and you have always, oh, never, oh, often. often, because if it were never, there will be no tennis ball. Uh huh. But you have only one tennis ball. Oh. Only one. Uh -huh. Yes. Often. Oh, for you, often. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what about you, uh, Aliana? And teacher, I don't know. The we have in the in the same day, but the day of this of this this item is the second for. So, Yes, it's the yes. second. Yes, yes. Um, the second half, only one, and I think it's often. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Don't worry, I'm going to give you more time. Okay, 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 give me a moment. Miren, estaba en un grupo que cuando entré estaban con Spanish. Llego yo y... <clears throat> Ajá, y ni... <laughs> y vieran que bien lo hicieron. Aquí es cuestión de voluntad. Y aunque yo no entre, porque lo empezaron a hacer súper bien en in inglés. Yes. Ah, I think is this. No, but I think is this because one. Ajá. And I say, mm, es cuestión de esfuerzo. It is a matter of effort. Así que si usted no escucha el recording in progress, esto significa que no he entrado yo ahí. Pero si lo escucha, porque okay, ahí estoy, right? Pero trate de hacerlo en inglés aunque yo no vaya, porque son varios grupos y estoy en uno aquí, uno allá. All right, but try to do it in English. Trate de hacerlo en inglés mientras usted más se quite el miedo al, al Spanish, al English, I'm sorry, you're going to speak more English. Lo que usted pueda. I think, yo creo, I think is always. Y si solo se puede decir, solo eso diga, pero dígalo en English. All right? I think is always. No, I think it's never. Hay unos que hablan más y dicen, I think it's never because, ¿por qué? I think it's never because, eh, Daniela dijo eso, I think it's eh, often because you have one tennis ball. Ah, you see? It's not something difficult. So you have to try to do it in English. Okay. ¿Cuántos no, no terminaron? How many groups? Let's see. Okay, just give me a moment. Para aquellos que ya terminaron, I'm going to give you an extra exercise. This is extra. Para darle tiempo a los compañeros que no han terminado que terminen. Okay, so give me a moment. This is going to be extra. Something extra. Okay, ah, this is going to be easy. And I will give you three minutes. Three minutes to finish. Okay, a los que no okay. terminaron. Okay, okay. teacher. All right. Now, check the chat. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right. Now check the chat, please, and open the link. This link is very easy. This is very easy. Pero como solo está el adverbio de frecuencia, eh, traten de decir una oración con ese adverbio, right? Just so to practice more. If you see always, uh, I always eat pupusas. I never eat uh, pacaya, whatever. Okay, three minutes. Three minutes and we are done. Okay? Okay. Let's okay. see. Okay. Let's all right, let's go.
Okay, very good. Before we continue, everybody, the picture. All right, I'm gonna take the picture today. So let me see. Uh, give me a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, so cameras on, please. Roberto, David, Rocio Perla, Daisy Linares, all right. Daisy Lopez, sorry, David, ah, David Amaya is working right now. Berrio, Roberto, Rocio Alejandra, okay. All right, so today is the second class. Today is class number two, all right. Give me a moment. Class number two. And let me see. Class number two, today is zero eight. Zero eight. Okay. Well, let's see. Picture. Okay. One, two, and three. This is the first one. All right. This is number one. Give me a moment. Please. Did you finish the exercise? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. All right. Yes. Now, uh, okay. Excellent. Now, I'm going to go with picture number two. Picture number two. Okay. One. Two and three. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, this is picture number two. All right. Now, um, excellent, everybody. Yeah, this topic is not difficult. What you need to do is you have to pay attention to you have to pay attention to the order. Now, I want to show you something. So just give me a moment. Now, can you see the screen? Yes. Yep. Yes, I excellent, excellent. Now, uh, pay attention to this. The position, the position of the adverb of frequency. Here is what I told you, right? When you have a verb, right? Uh, for example, if you have talk, eat, sleep, the adverb of frequency is before the principal verb, before. But pay attention when you have verb to be. What is the position? Pay attention. What is the position when you have verb to be? After. 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 Yes. Very good, Kevin. So, for example, eh, el nunca está tarde en la clase, right? It's not possible to say he never is. He never is. No, this is not correct. He is never. Okay? He is never. Pay attention to the position of the adverb of frequency after the verb. And when you have other verbs, it's before. You have to pay attention to this to this little detail. The order, I mean, the order is not the same. Well, I'm going to give you another exercise. Just give me a moment. Questions so far? Alguna pregunta? No? No questions? Easy? Hello? I guess. Ah, okay. Very good. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to give you this exercise. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con el orden. All right, we're going to work a little bit with the order of uh, the frequency adverbs. I'm going to give you this exercise, okay? And you will work this in mini groups, okay? You have to decide, you have three sentences. You have to decide which sentence is correct and the adverb of frequency in the correct position. For example, vamos a, vamos a hacer la primera juntos. We're going to do number one together. They go to the movies and the adverb of frequency is often. Now, which is the correct sentence? A, B, or C? Pay attention to that. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. They often go to the movies? Yes. yes. Excellent. All right. Nice. Now, can you open the link that I sent? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, very good. So, vamos a trabajarlo. We're going to work together, all right, in groups. Let's see. Un moment. Okay. Hmm, not too much. Let's go.
Sorry, everybody, I was talking in mute. Okay, easy or difficult? Did you finish? Teacher. Uh, oh, you need more time? Do you need more time? No. 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 Oh, you finished? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, all the groups. All right, very good. Uh -huh. Kevin, you have a question? Um, uh, we have difficult of the internet. Ah, you have Me a problem. Too. Sorry? Yeah. Me too. I know, and that is and that is a problem, right? When you have problems with the internet, you, ah, yeah. but you are sharing, Kevin. You are sharing. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> uh, uh, we 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 did didn't um finish. Ah, uh, okay. So. No, no problem. Don't worry yeah. because uh, okay. I will continue with something else. But if you want, you can do it as as practice. Or the person who was sharing the screen can finish the exercise for all the group, please. <clears throat> Because, okay. I, uh -huh, okay. because I need to continue with something else. I mm -hmm. will show you. Okay. Pay attention, everybody, to this video that we're going to watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's see. We're going to do the hobbies and free time activities. Okay. Let's, let's, see. let's see. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this conversation with how often do you, because after that, we're going to practice asking and answering the questions. Okay. Hey everyone! Welcome to a new class. In this class, you are going to listen to a conversation. They are going to talk about free time activities. So, if you hear any new word or new phrase in this conversation, take note and look for the meaning on a dictionary, all right? So pay attention to questions, to free time activities, and new words. Are you ready? Let's watch it. I just want to call it a day and go home. Really, do you have special plans? Um, yeah. I don't have work in school this afternoon, so I want to have fun. Wow, that sounds nice. What do you do for fun? Mm, sometimes I order pizza and watch a movie. Other times I go to the beach and watch the sunset. <laughs> that sounds like fun. How often do you go to the beach? I go about two or three times a week. What about you? I probably go once a month. Um, I don't have anybody to go with, so I don't like going alone. Really? We should go today. Are you free this afternoon? Actually, I am. I am free. <laughs> so, let's go. What time should I pick you up? Um, let's meet at my house at 5. Is that okay for you? It's a deal. Great. So, let's just work. True. <laughs> So, did you enjoy that conversation? I hope you did. So, now that you heard a conversation um, where people talk about free time, it's your turn, okay? Think of activities you do when you don't have to work, when you don't have to do homework, or when you uh, don't go to school. And practice that on your next conversation club. Okay, guys. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to do what she says, okay? We're going to practice with questions, how often do you, right? And it's going to be the final activity of today. We're going to practice. This is going to be a speaking. How often do you? Okay, very good. So give me a moment. I will give you the questions, okay? Now, we have these questions here, and we're gonna practice. Now, remember, you have to say, sorry, you have to say complete sentences. For example, how often do you hang out with your friends? 
hang out is salir a pasear o salir a in Spanish we say like the pasar tiempo con los amigos. So how often do you hang out with your friends? How do you answer this question? Recuerden que de la misma pregunta va a salir su respuesta. Okay, solo le va a agregar ya sea adverb of frequency or frequency expressions. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me, how often do you hang out with your friends? I hang out with my friends twice a week. Excellent, Diana. Very good answer. Nice. Okay, another person? I seldom hang out with, your, with my friends. Uh -huh, with my friends? No, with your friends. <laughs> All right, very good, Arely. Excellent, okay? So, I will copy the link and uh, we will practice. Mañana vamos a, a seguir practicando también, pero ahora es como la introduction. Okay, just give me a moment. I will copy the link. Ay. Sorry, es, tengo una barrita de herramientas y a veces me estorba. All right, yeah, now yeah. Copy and paste. I will copy, I will paste this in the chat box. Okay. Try to try to open the link, please. Can you open the link? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. So we're going to practice. This is a speaking. Okay. Very good. Oh my God. We have only five minutes. I will give you five minutes to practice. Five minutes. Si la misma pregunta la pueden contestar todos, mejor. It is better. Okay. Let's go.
Okay, everybody. Ay, sorry, a little gallito. Ay. Sorry, give me a moment, give me a moment. 